all of these events far more awareness. So it's a perfect opportunity. I mean, you, sometimes when life deals deals you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. You gotta make lemonade. You make some I'm, lemonade. I'm, I'm, I love lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the being able, it's unfortunate in in one way mm -hmm. where you're gonna have to be really um, uh, restricted in what you are capable of doing because yes. you are, you can usually we want to go out to the regions and mm -hmm. get a lot more people involved in the process, make it a, a competitive thing and. Mm -hmm. Um, now we've got to do it in a restrictive way, but at the same time, yes. we don't, without losing quality. Agreed. And the great thing that, because we're seeing some of the performances already, right, because they have to rehearse. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of talent out there. Oh, there's you see some talent, talent too? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> and you know, you know, dance is totally different from what we did with the We Are One Banana concert. Right? Correct. Dance is totally different. And um, what you're going to have is, is the diversity that you know about, which is, you know, your African kind mm -hmm. of dancing and your Indian dancing and your Amerindian dancing mm -hmm. and contemporary dancing, you have some urban dancing, you got some belly dancing, what? right? So it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of different flavors that are different, but at the same time, we're going to infuse it with some, um, you know, some good local kind of talents that are going to be able to mix it up. So like, it's going to be I like special. That. I like the fact that you threw some of the, um, some of the new up and coming big yeah, names in the music right. industry now. That's right. You see, look, aggressively, I want to be able to m move the ministry's mission forward, which is that we want to develop and showcase young Guyanese talent. Yes. Right? That's what our mission is on behalf of the government of Guyana. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times, young people who are talented, they don't have a platform. Mm -hmm. This is These are the things that we're trying to do to create that platform for young people to be able to express themselves but also use that as a stepping stone to showcase their talent and then move it into world class. Right now, we're, we're being able to broadcast this. Last event, we had almost 500,000 views. We did pretty good last time. Uh, across four or five platforms, uh -huh. we had almost 500,000 views, right? A portion of those views mm -hmm. were overseas, yeah. right? In the diaspora. So they've seen us. Absolutely. They've seen right? us. So now we're going to use that to be able to export our talent too. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that Jamaica did very well is that they were able to export their talent. Agreed. Right? Now with what the ministry is doing and the overall trajectory of the country, mm -hmm. we want to be able to showcase our talent but also export it too. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> this country, the trajectory of this country, according to all the newspaper articles and all the good stuff that I've been reading, they're talking about some good things about us out there. That's right. That's right. It's it's um, it's a good time to be alive. It's a good time to be a Guyanese. And it's a good time to be in Guyana. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely right. We, we we don't we want to make sure it's a good time to be Guyanese, but we also want to make sure it's a good time to be in Guyana because we want to we want to have other people come to our country uh -huh. and feel good about our country too. Agreed. Agreed. You know? Agreed. We're we're building that that Guyanese pride once again. Yeah, and so we are one Guyana, that's the message, mm -hmm. but we are one Guyana in one world. Agreed. You know what I mean? That's what we want to make sure that we have. You're including so, everybody. So that when while they can come and, and appreciate and celebrate our diversity of our national treasure, which is our culture, uh -huh. we also want them to feel welcome too. Well said. Right? We want to feel welcome because while we want to make sure that we have this unity within the country, we want to be an example for the world. Agreed. We want to be an example for the world. And uh, yesterday when I was over in, in Ana Catarina, um, we had a, a, an event for Yom and Abi. Mm -hmm. And I said to the, the, the crowd that was there, several, um, the Muslim crowd that was there, mm -hmm. I told them that they, they, they must be able to be proud, right? As being part of this religion and, and, and extol the virtues of the teachings of that religion and mm -hmm. all of the religions in the country. Mm -hmm. So that is what the things that I want us to be able to celebrate in this country, where it's not a situation where within groups that the celebration happens. Yeah. I want the celebration to happen because of sharing, right? I want it to move beyond the groups, mm -hmm. right? So that there's more sharing and appreciation of what it means. You want to transcend culture. That's right. I like that. That's right. I like that. Um, it's not every day that we get the actual Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport to hang out with us and not only hang out with us, but invite Guyana to be a part of an event that he is putting his stamp of approval on. This is your opportunity to do that, my brother. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, if you're Guyanese, mm -hmm. it's important that you're proud to be Guyanese. And at the same time, you've got to show why you're proud. You've got to 
in, in understanding why you walk around with a chip and hold your head up high and puff up your chest. And that's, that's you being proud, yeah. right? And, mm -hmm. and you have a right to be proud as a Guyanese. But we also want to say to the world, this is why we are proud. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when this event comes on and any of the other events come on where you have young Guyanese talent being showcased, mm -hmm. click the share button. I like that. Click the share button. That's the least you could do. All right? If you're proud of your country, because we're... We want to make sure that we understand that we have a national treasure, yes. Yes. But we also want to say to the world that we have a national treasure. Mm -hmm. And we're proud of this. And we want to share it with the world. All right. I like that. Now, let, let's, let's, let's slip aside just for a little bit. I've been seeing a lot more of you doing, a, a, I want to say walkabouts. Community outreaches. Community outreaches. Yeah, not walkabout. Community outreaches, right? <laughs> I like that terminology, too. Community outreaches, you've been going all over. You've been, you've been knocking on some doors that were less knocked on before. Or seen, not knocked on. I've seen you in Agricola. Yeah. How was the trip over there? Excellent. You met some new people. Excellent. The community was very welcoming. Mm -hmm. um, I was very proud of the reception that we had there. Yeah. Uh, very wel welcomed and humbled at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, because I think the people of Agricola don't want to be able to to say that this is an area that is unfriendly. Agreed. You know what I mean? Agreed. Nobody wants to be to have those that kind of stigma. Mm -hmm. They just like everybody else living in any other part of the country, inclusive. they want to be inclusive, but they also want to share in the growth and the development and the connectedness and the the prosperity that's going to happen in the process. Agreed. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is be part of the program. Well said. Right? So I, when I went in there, it was on their invitation. Mm -hmm. Their invitation. They wanted to see you. You didn't just they decide said, this and I'm going in here. They said that we needed some sports gears and that they had asked the previous administration for sports gears. And in Guyana, we say they, they got don't, <laughs> right? Or they, they didn't get it. Um, I was happy to go and share that, share it there. Now that you've, you've, you've had an opportunity to put boots on the ground in some of the communities in and around Guyana, um, what would you say is the thing that is going to move us forward? Um, pulling in the same direction. That's, that's key. Human beings have an amazing ability to work together mm -hmm. in this common understanding uh, but we also have to want to do it too. Yeah. Now, progress will happen regardless. Yes. Human history has shown that progress will happen regardless. No matter what ills fall the world, what crisis happens, this will happen. Mm -hmm. So let me let me just show you what how how much of progress has happened in the last couple hundred years. When our first uh, split from our common ancestors, mm -hmm. when I say common ancestors, I mean as a species, right? <laughs> was about seven million years ago. We're going that far back. Seven million years ago. Mm -hmm. The first time we recorded one billion people in the world was around 1804. Mm -hmm. Now we had we add another eight. We add another billion people to the world every 12 years. Yeah. So it took almost 7 million years. And as Homo sapiens, right, mm -hmm. because you had a whole bunch of different species of, of human beings, mm -hmm. um, prior to that you had Neanderthals, Homo erectus, a number of others, right? Mm -hmm. Homo sapiens are only probably about, um, maybe about 300,000 years old or so. Mm -hmm. But it took almost 7 million years. Mm -hmm to get to one billion people on this planet, okay? And that what happens every 12 years? Every 12 years. Now that's progress. Every 12 years. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy and exponential growth you got I, there. I want to ask you an oil question because I know you're an oil guy. Yeah. We're looking good on the oil market right now. Extremely good. We're looking real good, bro. Um, how good are we? Right now, we're probably 
one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. um, the the market obviously depends on price. Yeah. There's a as a result of uh, COVID nineteen, you've had um, constrained demand, constrained aggregate demand in the world. So there isn't a lot of consumption that's happening. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, you've had downward pressure on prices, meaning that the prices are very low at the moment. We're good with that, but it's winter time in, in the cold parts. Of the <laughs> I bet you didn't know I knew that. And they want oil, and we got oil, right? So They also, they also need gas. Right? <laughs> <laughs> gas is not that expensive. <laughs> no, but I, I, I think that coming out of COVID, there's, there'll be a surge of activity too, yeah. to return the world back to normalcy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also because people will want to live again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people can't wait. I can't wait to take off my mask mm -hmm. and do these kind of events and you know be able to go and do community work more. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we're constrained because of COVID because we don't want to put a lot of people at risk. Yeah. Uh, luckily the numbers are doing well, mm -hmm. relatively speaking. The curfew today. Yeah. So we now moved it to 1030 from 4 a.m. to 1030. Thank you for doing that for yeah. us. Yeah, uh, we're just going to start opening up back the gyms. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some of the sports are going to be able to start playing again. Yeah. Just two days ago, um, we got, I, I made the uh, national stadium become public. Nice. I don't know if you heard about that. Nice. That so, is amazing. So yeah. you can go there and train. You can now. go in there and exercise, right? You can go and exercise. You can actually go and play sports there, if you if on the tarmac, uh -huh. and then the outer ring of uh, where the stadium is. You can go and exercise, run, and ride, and walk, and do whatever it. you want to do. I love it. Now they've got a safe environment for the people of Southwest uh, Georgetown mm -hmm. and the East Bank, where you've got probably a about fifty thousand or more, right, people. They now have access to a safe facility where they can go and work, and they can go and exercise and play sports and things like that. I'm going to ask you a question now. You can, you can take the political route, you can take the Charles Ramson route, or you can give me the perfect answer. This is my final question, by the way. Okay. In Coffee's song, she says she doesn't know what she's going to do when the place opens up and when she touches the road. What is Charles Ramson, Minister of Culture, Youth, and Sport? ready, planned, and already has one shoe on. What are you going to do when things clear up and we're ready to go? We're 100% set to get back on the road after COVID-19. Um, I, I want to aggressively expand what we're doing in communities, right? So that's work-wise because mm -hmm. you've got several several areas of your life that you want to um, do. Or you, you have more than one area of your life that... Uh, determined that is determined by a COVID-19 type of situation and uh, work-wise is aggressively doing more of the outreaches that we have to do mm -hmm. so for example we still have to go to region 2 now yes so we're gonna do that next weekend um, we still have we haven't been to region 1 we haven't been to region 7 or 8 or 9 mm -hmm. we need to do we need to go there um, we're hoping we can get that done before the end of the year. When things open back up, you're going to be a busy guy, my brother, because you're telling me all work right now. Exactly. And then for just for uh, entertainment slash relaxation, number one, I want to go to a good concert, uh -huh. right? Hopefully we can bring that concert <laughs> right here, right? And then, um, but also I think my, my wife and I, we need a, a vacation, you know, because, um, you know, it, it, COVID has been tough yeah. when, when the kids are at home. And not going to school, mm -hmm. and she's been on a long road with me because we were campaigning. Straight from campaigning through COVID. Through COVID. Well, we had a five month just kind of like, you know, I don't even want to describe. I don't have a word to this <laughs> diabolical situation. Sticky situation. Right. And then out of that, you had this the appointment, mm -hmm. and then you've got to really kind of drive a lot of energy into the process, yeah. into the ministry's program, because otherwise it's not going to be driven. Right. Mm -hmm. Every organization has to have a leader yes and the leader has to drive the process forward mm -hmm. otherwise it can it'll just kind of go through the motions and for the first time you 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 know you've got a the ministry of culture youth and sport coming back as a full ministry mm -hmm. and it's the first time in a long time you've had a, a young minister there 
So we want to make sure that we're giving it the kind of um, energy and attention that it needs and, it, and that the young people of the country mm -hmm. need. Well, so for, for example, a lot of the stuff that we're doing on the cultural side, mm -hmm. you notice that we're doing it differently. Yes. It's not only because of COVID. We're doing it differently because it requires it to be done differently. You know, we've got to, you know, cartel says up to the time. <laughs> we gotta, we got we to gotta bring it up to the time, right? You got to really modernize it, yeah. make it, make it much more capable of being uh, engaging mm -hmm. and, and feeling as though you, it's not dissimilar from anything else that you're looking at. Well said. Here's an opportunity once again, before we go, for you to invite Diana to be a part of the National Dance Festival put on by your ministry, the Ministry of Culture, Youth, and Sport, Mr. Rapson. Yeah, I really want um, Guyanese to feel proud about being Guyanese, for them to understand how that our national treasure is our culture. And if it's one thing that you can do it, as part of being a proud Guyanese, mm -hmm. is to share why you are proud and share your national treasure with the world. So when, when you go and view your, uh, our events tomorrow and, and the many other events that we're going to be doing over the next several months and few years, share that with the world. Let it reach far and wide all around the world. Just one click of a button will help to make our national treasure be shared with the rest of the world. I like that. Push it out there. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming through, spending some time with me, man. I want you to enjoy your weekend. Brother. Be as safe as you can, my brother. Stay all safe. the best. And let everybody else stay safe, too. We wish you guys all the best. Be good, man.